All right, I'm going to do a quick uh, video here on how to create a custom tool in Feature Cam. Um, here you'll see I've created the tool in IronCAD. This is the tool to do the T slot on the AR15 upper receiver. And this tool slot you can see here for the charging handle. So <clears throat> Uh, this is an AB tools part and uh, they've got their contact info here and if I remember I'll get it in the link in the description uh, but this is the part number and this is their website of course phone number uh, they make some excellent product um, if you haven't ever used their stuff in the past you should definitely try it out because it is worth it so here I've created the tool based off the geometry that uh, I received from AB tools and I'm just gonna prepare it for to make my life easier in feature cam and to do that I usually take 90 percent of the tool and I'll show you why in a second so I'm just going to take and get rid of 75% of this tool real quick. <clears throat> okay, now the I'm using Iron CAD right now. I can draw, I could definitely draw this in Feature Cam, and we'll go over that in Feature Cam, but um, I like to keep my my tools that I'm using I like to keep a CAD version of them if I do a front view on this and I'm going to take activate the try ball on this part and if you don't know what the try ball is you can check out some of my iron CAD videos but I'm going to look at edit position and you can see that I am at X 0 Y 0 and Z 0 okay <clears throat> and then I'm going to export this part and um, CH T slot feature cam. Okay, save. And we've exported it. So now we'll just go ahead and go over to feature cam. This is my part file that um, that I'm going to cut the part in. And we can do a couple things. I can create a new file to um, to put this in, but we'll just do it in the existing file because most of the time when we need a new part we're going to be programming something already so I'm going to hide all and over here under layers I'm going to activate the stock axis okay and this is the two parts to creating a tool is you need to create it with your stock axis activated and how do we do that is down here at the bottom you see how it says setup one UCS setup one I'm gonna select that and I'm gonna choose stock and that changes my active work coordinate system to the stock and then the next thing we want to do is we want to create that in the front view okay so just like we were in the front view in IronCAD we're gonna be in the front view here and then I will go and grab my charging handle T slot feature cam solid and we're going to import it in and I am going to accept it as is and just kind of figure out where we're at and who knows where we're at so I'm going to select the solid and I'll just transform it and I'm going to go from this corner to x0 x0 y0 z0 I'm gonna hit apply and OK and stock axis we were already there perfect um, okay so now we need to extract geometry or turn this into geometry and there's several ways to do that like I said if we wanted to we could have uh, just drawn this out so go there and uh, you know
know, come in here and just start drawing and get our get our geometry in that fashion. But <clears throat> Feature Cam has some uh, very unique, I think they're great, um, tools to create geometry. So I'm going to go into my curve wizard and I'm going to create a curve from a surface and I'm going to go for surface edges and I'm not going to connect my start and my end in this instance because we don't want them to be and I'm just going to choose edges and we'll come in here and start selecting our edges you can see here it gives me my options we want that one and that one and get in here nice and close if I hit alt R it is going to well it should have refreshed that but it did not Okay, and I'm just going to select these edges as we go around. Whoop, whoop. Getting away from me here. There we go. Sometimes it's hard to keep track of those edges. Okay, we'll go ahead and finish that. Do a front view again and get rid of the solid. And there's our curve. Ultimately, we want a curve to create a tool from. But if you do want it to go back to geometry, you can do construct and I believe it's under curve and you can do curve to geometry and now you have all of that as geometry but we want a curve to create a tool with <clears throat> okay so we will go into our tool manager and I have a crib set up right now just for these upper receiver tools and so I'm just going to select new tool and I'll name it This information doesn't matter too much, but I'm going to fill it in because it uh, it does change like the size of the tool holder. <clears throat> uh, the exposed length, I'm going to put 2.0. The cutter length, um, I can measure. The, let's see if it'll let me measure. Not in this screen. So I'm going to put one inch for now. Um, three flutes, shank diameter 0.65 and we will use a curve and we're going to use curve 5 and you can see here curve 5 um, turned red and then here in our preview window we can see the tool now I happen to know that we need more of that tool sticking out because um, so I'm going to go exposed length 2.5 and apply and that is better this this area here is going to be inside the upper still. This is the actual 625 area. So now we have the shape of our tool. It's single point, it's carbide, it does not center cut, and we'll hit OK. And there's our new tool. And we'll save our crib, and I'm going to come back down here and activate the setup, and we are in layer one. I'm going to hide all, show the solids. Okay. okay, and I'll turn my stock axis off. <clears throat> so now let's go ahead and talk about the part. I have the stock is set up as an upper that does not have an AR-15 upper that does not have that channel cut out of it. So then when we throw the stock in there you can see we have that channel. So the first thing I, I needed to do was create some geometry to make a curve off of. And I've 
start of that. Let's see if I deleted it on accident or not. Nope, here it is. Let me go ahead and delete all this. I'm not a, a geometry guy. I like to delete as, all the extras when possible. So here's my geometry. I'm going to go ahead and turn that into a curve. <clears throat> so that is going to be the center of our feature. So I'll go ahead and click our feature wizard up here. And I'm going to do a groove. And it pre-selected that curve 6 for us. And this is our offset from Z location. So our curve is set up at Z0, but I actually want to set that curve to right here. So I'll go ahead and select that. Okay, and then the width for now I'm going to hit um, 0.5 and on depth I'm going to select where we start and I'm going to select Ooh, this is where it gets tricky let's see I'm going to turn I need to see a different solid so I'm going to turn my so stock solid back on and then should be I should be wrong hold on let's see here oh I'm seeing the stock hold on. I'm gonna hide the stock this is my floor so my depth we're gonna start here and then we're gonna select this bottom floor it's hard to see so I'll select that corner and you can see now that our curve goes full length but it's just a big half inch wide slot so when we come over to select our tool then we will select the the charging handle T slot tool and the shape of our groove should change and finish okay and there they are so now as you can see uh, the shape of our groove has taken on the shape of that custom tool and all the way down to chamfers and radiuses uh, but it does look like our height is off here so if we come in here and look so what I would do in this case is I'm going to go ahead and select that and holding down shift I'll select the feature and then I'm going to hide the unselected I'm going to look at it from the right and I'll zoom in here and I'll just take a quick measurement <clears throat> from the top of my tool path to the bottom of that surface we come up with six thousandths if you really want to get accurate down here you can choose the fourth decimal point but it's still six thousandths so what we'll do then is go to our groove location and here I can hit plus point zero zero six that should do it okay or I could actually try to do math in my head and add six thousandths there but if we zoom back in here now looks like six thousandths wasn't the magic number okay location come over here and go five five Okay, six thousandths is close enough. All right, so now if we run our simulation. and I'll single step it real quick here's our tool and it's going to come down oh and see we're gonna go back and forth right that is not good so let's go ahead and hit stop and to fix that we go into our slot feature and plunge and get rid of this ramp angle the other thing I like to do is speed this up 
in some cases and this is one of those cases okay now let's go ahead and single step that through okay and there we go we have the chamfer and we have a little bitty corner rounding there and an edge break those are there to protect the tool so you get longer tool life off those edges and that is how we create a tool and then implement it